Good morning. Thanks for waking up with us. I'm Diana Fairbanks, and it's Winging It Buffalo style time. And I'm your CW star, Matt Snyder. And welcome back to our Home and Garden Week presented by the Buffalo Home and Garden Show. Today, we'll get a little bit more information on how to keep your home spotless. Oh, I need <laughs> to keep my home spotless. All right. In the kitchen today, we have a new chef. We want to introduce you to Marianne Giordano. She is from... Uh, Gigi's and we are going to be making a traditional St. Joseph's Day table. She literally wrote the book on this and the meal sounds fabulous. She has a lot of history, a lot of know-how and she's opening up a new restaurant so you're going to want to stay tuned for that. And speaking of food, March is National Nutrition Month so we'll have a little bit of information from a Wegmans nutrition, uh, nutritionist on how to stay healthy all year long. Which we could all use a little help with. Yeah, of course, just a little bit. all eyes around the world are on Vatican City right now. The conclave is beginning today to pick, pick the new pope. And uh, all, all the, uh, all the um, experts are saying that it probably is going to happen in just a couple of days. So it probably won't take very long to find out who the next pope will be. But we're going to be talking about what the next pope will be wearing. That's right. It is winging a buffalo style. You know, it's really interesting because not only is there so much to do behind the scenes, some really weighty matters out there in the world, but also talking about what he's going to wear because as soon as the pope is picked he becomes pope like that he's going to need something to wear well don't worry the ecclesiastical tailors at gamarelli's have been doing this for six generations 200 plus years they have been outfitting hundreds of priests and popes cardinals and pontiffs over the ages and get this they already have um the the clothing ready to go they actually have three different sizes prepared, a full outfit in three different sizes, small, medium, and large, because they don't know who the next pope's going to be, so they don't know what size he's going to be, but they're ready to go. And apparently it's as if, you know, you think of our celebrities, they get dressed for all of these award ceremonies, the Oscars. Oh, yeah. Apparently they approach it in a similar manner. I'm being very careful not to be too witty or crack any snide jokes because it is the Pope and you have to pay respect. Oh, but yeah. But some of his outfits are quite glamorous. Well, I think it's fascinating. I mean, clearly they know, I mean, every last stitch, they know exactly what to do, and I'm sure they're just tailored so beautifully. And even down to the red shoes, they have all the different shoes ready for whichever pope it would be selected. interesting if you could uh you find out what makes the pope's outfit really cool and see if you could translate that into your own wardrobe because those uh red velvet shoes are pretty awesome i, would I do i do like the shoes those red i do velvet like the shoes. shoes that's right uh from runway to reality is that, is that the kind of a deal? little bit different, little bit, little bit different. And, you know but but yeah. really though all you know sort of fashion aside it is a huge day oh my and, gosh. You know, they're just starting meeting and i'm you know as a practicing catholic i'm really really excited to see who uh my next pope is. They're, they're saying by Friday we should know. So we, of course, will update you. And we have to talk about Speaking another update. Speaking of updates. Another update. We, I just want to bring something back up. You want to brag. I, 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 yeah, you want to brag. Yes, of Let's course. Well, yesterday in our Kitchen World Kitchen, Chef Gretchen, Gretchen made some amazing Guinness brownies. Yes. And we got into a little bit of a debate. Semi heated debate. <laughs> you know, you preferred the cake brownies, I preferred the fudge brownies, and we couldn't decide. We were split in the studio so we asked the great our debate. Facebook viewers and you know for a little bit we were about it was tied and by the end of in, end of yesterday's show it was tied cake versus fudge brownie however not so much uh, I will anymore. have to say that the victory of the fudge brownies 23 to 7 a measly 7 the cake Measly seven. I mean it just seems like our Facebook viewers a lot of them said you know if I want cake I'll just have cake Okay, and you know what? That's true. I will give you this. I think the fudge brownie is the traditional brownie. Um, but honestly, at the end of the day, I will choose cake every day of the week over a brownie. But it works so. out for us because if someone put a plate of brownies down and half were fudge and half were cake, you know, we'd each get our equal share. <laughs> There'd be no fighting. No, there would not be any fighting. <laughs> all right. Well, all week long, we'll be working with the Buffalo Home and Garden Show to give you all of the information you need to keep your house in tip-top shape. Well, yesterday we talked about installing a hardwood floor, so today we wanted to make sure that you knew how to keep that hardwood floor spotless.